Okay, so I found this base of another YouTuber and it was probably two YouTubers that wanted to hunt me down and also it's uh, probably the Arbiter's, Arbiter the Dog's base and that's actually the guy that said there could be only a one winner. So let's show him who's it gonna be. They have a nice enchanting table here. These are probably the books that were mined from the village before. I'll take the enchanting table. Uh, a farm, a sheep farm. <laughs> now, why the hell are they wasting time with this? Yeah, nice puppies. I'll leave this one alone. And I'll take all the stuff and all the valuables here. So I'll just speed up the video and Meet you when I'm a little richer. Okay, I'm richer. I found some diamonds. I mined the books and also found an ender pearl. That means I'm pretty ready to go to the end portal. But before I go, I think I'll leave a message that I was here and also have some fun. Now I'm just thinking about now how I'm going to do this. And since the whole entire house is made of wood, I think I'll use my lighter. So here we go. Hey, mate, you got a nice house here. It would be a shame if it would, I don't know, catch fire. Here we go. <laughs> now, Arbeiter, the dog, I mean Arbeit means in German uh, work. Yeah, it's work. So here you have some work. Nice and useless sheep farm. I guess we'll cook the sheep. <laughs> now, I, I really got to say, I'm not that kind of a player that would do this, but... Oh, oh, I didn't mean to hurt the puppies. Sorry for that. Um, well, I usually don't do this, but uh, when it comes to competition, I cannot resist when someone's building such a useful stuff like this. Well, that's an improvement. Let's look at it from distance. <laughs> nice house. Now there you go. Okay, so one night passed. I managed to drop one ender pearl so now I have two and I dropped enough strings to make me a bow and nothing new really happened you already see that you already saw that I grieved this house but I just realized that the whole time I was uh, bringing nine TNTs with myself so uh, it would be a it would be a shame if I don't use them on this video so uh, let's let's have some fun. Uh, here's some uh, cook cook mutton from the sheep's. I guess they were burned. 
I'll just look for some stuff in these chests if there's any more useful stuff. So uh, let's test these TNTs. It's gonna be fun. Uh, forgot the wood. I'll just make a button to make a redstone signal pulse to ignite the TNTs. Now, where should I put it here? Here we go. Oh, I forgot about the dogs. Well, never mind. They're dead. <laughs> what a mess. I guess this will hold them a little back. So uh, now they'll have enough problems with their cells. And I guess they won't be hunting me anymore. Or maybe they'll be hunting me more. We'll see. There we go, another TNT. <laughs> I actually, I'm actually doing this to make uh, space in my inventory because, uh, you know, bringing the TNT with myself the whole time takes a lot of inventory space. Actually, one space. So let's grief this area out. Uh, I guess I'll make some more bread. Oh, a potato. Thank you. I'll take it. I'll take it all. And I'll cook it right away. There we go. There's some wheat. Now I hope uh, no one of those YouTubers are gonna log now and catch me doing this. Okay, so last area to grief is right there. The uh, mine or whatever that is. I don't need the seeds. So what's here? Nothing really interesting. Uh, some raw mutton and some wheat. I'll just make the bread. Here we go. Give me that saddle. I ain't giving you that. And here we go. Another button. Here we go. Wow. I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. This really sucks to find your base in this state. Well, but it's a competition, right? Whoever first find touches the egg, he wins. And you can have only one winner, right? That's what he said. So uh, that's how I'm going to behave. We cook some mutton. And I still have four TNT, so let's do like a double explosion. Or maybe a triple explosion. Or maybe a quattro explosion. That's gonna be cool. I hope it's not gonna blow my furnace there. There we go. <laughs> now this is gonna be big. There we go. Oh, I feel really bad doing this. I, I usually don't play like this. I'm not that kind of a player, but yeah, it's a competition. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so I'm I'm out of here. Uh, I never wanna see this place again. I guess, uh, oh, I didn't took the crafting bench. I really don't need to drag these cactus with myself the whole time. Okay, so uh, I think uh, you uh, viewers of me, you already know what I'm going to do since I have blaze rods and two ender pearls. 
And yeah, that's right. Time for triangulation. So we'll take, take a clear spot. Uh, throw this fins and tinder. It's almost used up. I guess I'll first eat out the mutton. So I'm pretty interested in which direction is going to be the end portal. There's a village. Yeah, it, it looks like this village wasn't griefed yet. Yeah, there are villagers here. Well, uh, maybe I could get to some good items. Here we got a blacksmith, a toolsmith. Oh, I don't have enough coal to unlock. He's another tier trades. Same with this one. Uh, there are a lot of clerics here, I see, but mm, I guess I don't have the stuff to unlock their trades. Another blacksmith. Wait, what's this? Now this is this is really interesting. It's a it's a desert temple inside a village. Now that's pretty unusual. I, I never seen seen that before. Let's see if th no one it looks like no one f found this desert temple yet. Oh, don't you say that I'll have to take another TNTs with myself? Another diamonds cool. Seven diamonds, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll just mine out the TNTs for sure. There we go. Another nine TNTs, but there's no more bases to grief, actually. Uh, I'll take the TNTs, right? And I could mine the coal to unlock the blacksmith trades. Well, but... Mm, Actually, this is a pretty waste of time. I'm, I'm heading for the end portal. So there's not much time to like build house and, and sheep farms and wheat farms like they did. It's a competition to get to the, to the dragon egg, right? So uh, it's nice that I found this temple, but uh, not really much practical use in it. Uh, saddle. Some iron, gold, whatever. I don't really care about this stuff. Okay, so uh, let's use the sand to jump out. Now, where did I get here? Okay, right here. And the blacksmith should have some uh, treasures here. Not really, just some iron, a new sword. Cool. I'll take that new helm also. Okay. Now, what do we have here? Some villagers. Uh, I guess I'll be moving. I, I could unlock one priest's trade if I was collecting the rotten flesh before. It's too bad that I wasn't. Uh, but yeah, let's stick to our goal. Let's stick to our goal, get to the end portal, and now it's night, so I can try to hunt more end and ender pearls. And uh, that's what I'm actually going to do the whole time uh, since I opened the end portal. 
I'll be hunting the Enderman. I don't see any yet. Well, never mind. Let's throw the first Eye of Ender. So I'll just uh, quickly open my Excel file. You guys know where to download it. You guys know the tutorial. If you don't, I'll put the link right here. So here we go. Okay, I'll craft the Eye of Ender. You don't need really this. And we'll convert some blaze powder to Eyes of Ender. There we go. That's plus F3 and write down our coordinates. Okay, so now as I write down these coordinates, I gotta be really careful that a creeper or whatever won't blow near to me and move me, or he could also kill me. So let's write the coordinates quickly down. So X is minus 931 .606. That's that, 931.606. Z coordinates is minus, minus 38.754, minus 38.754. I'll just j double check so I won't have to throw the eyes of Ender again. So here goes my first throw. There we go. This was pretty accurate. Now I gotta write the coordinates down really fast. Minus 922.266. Minus 44.356. Double check. Minus, yeah. Minus, yeah. So that's that. Back to game. Give me my Eye of Ender. Good that it didn't destroy itself. And. So, the end portal goes that di direction. It is possible that some player already headed that way. Because it's, uh, it's the third day this server was up. And here's got, here we got an ender guy. But if those guys were building like sheep farms and... Uh, pretty houses, I doubt they already collected the 12 Eyes of Ender they need to open the portal. So, uh, no Eye of Ender dropped out, and what's this? <laughs> I, was, I was walking in circles a little here. Uh, I guess I can use those 9 TNTs again. Yeah. Yeah, let's li let's use the nine TFTs again. So it'll be once we do it, it should be worth it, right? So uh, if you grief, you want to grief and big, or don't grief at all. So here we go. Here's the base. Here we got a nice cauldron. You get out of my sight. This hole is gonna be big. <laughs> I'm actually losing a lot of wood here on the buttons. Oh my god, this is... Oh, two Endermen. Now let's look at this. <laughs> oh my god. I, 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 I forgot how fun it is to grief someone. I, I haven't been doing this like a, a year or so. I, I'm really that not that kind of player. I don't want you guys to think this of me. It's just that it's the competition and <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Here we go. One ender pearl and he could drop me the second. Oh, I'm lagging a little bit. I'm lagging. I'm lagging. Uh oh. Now th th this looks a little bad. Okay, he died. I'm back in game. 
He dropped no ender pearl, but that really doesn't matter. I, I'm glad that I didn't die. I should leave them this stuff. Uh, they're 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 really poor poor guys now. I re I really pity them now. I w wouldn't want them to be in their shoes now. Okay, uh, I forgot how which the di which the direction it was. I just have to look at the coordinates. So. Uh, the minus got bigger and that that got uh so the z coordinate should go more to minus so that's this way and the x coordinates should uh be bigger yeah so it's like this way like this way hey another enderman let's try him out come on friend drop me your pearl your porting pearl. Here we go. That's another two eyes of Ender. So we have already four. That's a good start. Well, not a start already, but it's <laughs> a good finish finishing, I guess. Okay, so now we're walking in the direction where the end portal should be, but we should also walk uh, a different way like this. Uh, so the triangulation is going to be more accurate. Uh, it's a good thing that the players are not playing now. I, I guess they're in school. Or whatever. Uh, so what you want to do is once you throw the first eye of Ender, you want to walk uh, a little sideways, perpendicular to the first uh, direction. And then you want to throw the eye of Ender again. So uh, when I throw it from there, I guess it'll fly up uh, left from me. It should go left somewhere there. And my spreadsheet should calculate the exact position. And I hope I'll get more accurate than in my tutorial because uh, in that tutorial I missed the end portal by 40 blocks. You can get much, much more accurate than that. Okay, now I'll convert these blaze pound, please rods, and now we have four eyes of Ender. That's pretty good going. And now I'll write down the coordinates. So I got my first coordinates, and now what I gotta do is extract my last coordinates. So the eye of Ender should went, went somewhere that way. If it goes that way, the end portal is pretty close, and in the more that way it goes, the more far the end portal is. So let's give it a try. So it's somewhere in the middle. There we go. Extract the coordinates. So it's minus 313.689. And minus six six point seven three six. There we go. Double check. And that should be it. So uh, the end portal should be x coordinate minus one hundred seventy six, z coordinates minus almost five hundred. So uh, almost two hundred and five hundred. Let's, let's go.
Okay, so now I should be standing right above the end portal. I'll just make one sandstone to mask my entrance here. Okay, so here we go. The end portal should be really near. I should watch for the stone bricks. So I won't fall. Oh, I almost mined this one. <laughs> So the end portal is really close. The end portal is really close. Uh, I mean, close to the spawn. It could happen that they uh, would accidentally run into it. Okay, so it's not the portal room. It's not the portal room to worry about. Now it should be a uh, zombie villager. There you go. Uh, let's get the coordinates again. 90, 272, Now there should be some chest here also with the Ender pearls. Okay, so this is the block. This is the block where we should mine. And the end portal should be right under us. Uh, this might be the room. Let's cross our fingers. Fingers crossed. Let's just look down. Oh, a library. Now the library comes really handy because uh, I have the enchanting table with myself and I can do enchants here. Well, but somewhere under this library should be the end portal room. Just make two screenshots instead of uh, taking a torch. I pressed F2 instead of uh, the two number. <sighs> now I don't really want to search the whole, oh, here are the chests. So it uh, looks like I'm lagging again. Yeah, I'm lagging. This is a laggy server. And still I have some cactus with myself. Well, it actually looks like the server is down. So, yeah, it's down. I'll log on later and I'll find then the end portal. And I guess I'll wait for the players to log in. So they will see who's the winner. <laughs> see you later.